guys welcome back to glam finds and we're here with another fragrance review and today we're going to review a fragrance that is an insanely accurate clone um and when i say accurate i mean they did not change much about how this fragrance looks at all the fragrance that we're going to talk about today is from the house of alhambra which is actually a brand under the same umbrella as latafa we have the fragrance Hercules. And just so you know, the box is insanely similar to the PDM box. So we didn't do too much differences here. Um, let's talk about the scent. So Everybody already knows this, but obviously Herod is a tobacco fragrance. It's a sweet tobacco fragrance, and this is the same. So when it opens up, it opens up nice, sweet, with that nice pipe tobacco, the vanilla. You're gonna get a little bit of spiciness and some woods, but mostly the focus of this is that sweet pipe tobacco. And kind of like a holiday vibe to it. I think it's the spices, uh, cinnamon specifically. But when this one opens up, I get the same thing, however, there's a little bit of added freshness to my nose. Um, it doesn't really last all the way through the dry down, but in the opening I do feel like a little bit of added freshness to it, and it's really nice. Now in terms of performance, because again the scent profile is going to be more of that pipe tobacco, it's really not... <laughs> It's really not different from Herod. I've never owned Herod, so I don't want to tell you, you know, anything. Typically when you smell a fragrance, if you don't own a decant and do several wearings of it, you're really just getting that opening. So to me, the openings are similar, um, but this has like a touch of added freshness. It doesn't have that heaviness. To me, actually, I like that. But in terms of performance, I get over seven hours with this and typically when i wear it i get over eight hours so this is no slouch performance wise and projection you're gonna get a solid arm's length for at least two hours with the sillage will kind of keep going it's gonna give you a lot of bang for the buck now the irony of when i got this fragrance is i got this right after uh tammy from tammy loves fragrances birthday and one of the fragrances that she wore on her birthday was Herod. So when I brought this down to Southern California with me, she said, hey, can I wear this for the day? I said, yeah, of course. And she, when she smelled it immediately, she was like, this is a dead ringer. This has like no differences from Herod and I own Herod. And I was like, that's awesome. Um, I mean, it's awesome for me, but not so much awesome for her because she paid for the real thing and I paid for this. We're gonna talk about pricing later, but she wore it for the whole day. And what she's told me is there is a difference between this and Herod. And the difference is this performs better. So she said her batch of Herod, which in my opinion, that house seems to have some inconsistencies. I know they're really pretty popular, but I have a batch of Layton that I get okay performance out of, but I have a buddy that has Layton from an older batch that gets like beast mode performance. So I don't really love the whole in inconsistency thing. And I know it's pretty much like that across the board. Again, I know it's a beloved house, so don't get upset. It's okay. We have different experiences, but she said she got much better performance with this and she sprayed less of this than she sprays of Herod. And you would be really surprised how much she sprays of Herod. It's a lot. In terms of full wearing experience, because I, I haven't had the full wearing experience of Herod, I'm using hers. If you know her, she, she really loves a strong performer, so she was really a fan of this. And she actually bought this, by the way, which is really cool, because she owns Herod, but when she smelled this and she got the performance that she wanted out of Herod from this, she went ahead and bought it. So performance-wise, it's not a slouch. In terms of who can wear this, it's a, it's a fragrance for anybody. A lot of people may say it leans uh, masculine, but it is a really sweet pipe tobacco. So in my opinion, right down the center, if you are looking more for a tobacco leaf fragrance versus a tobacco fragrance, this is sweet tobacco. So it's in the same vein as Herod, obviously. It's a pretty good dupe of it, apparently. So if you're looking for one, just know this is not dry. This is sweet. 
that's kind of where, where I'm going to leave it because I'm not going to leave it in age. doesn't matter what age you are. If you like sweet fragrances, you're going to like this. If you don't, this is not overly sweet to, to me. If you want something dry, this is not dry. Where could you wear this? This is a fall winter fragrance. So season wise, that's where you could wear it. I feel like you could wear it day or night in the fall or winter. I would, mm, I would not, I would probably dress this up a little bit, or I should say you could dress this up a little bit. I feel like it's a nice date night one. Um, whether you're going out or staying in, it would work for both. I think you could wear it to something nice. It's a pretty nice fragrance, but I also find it to be very versatile for those two seasons. There's almost nothing you couldn't wear it to. People tend to like it, and that kind of leads me into compliments. I wouldn't say that it's a complete compliment monster, but people seem to like it on me. I will also follow that up with people seem to like sweet fragrances. And because this is sweet or has sweetness to it, people like it, especially vanillic fragrances, things like that. They're going to do well. So it's going to garner you compliments. And for the price, which this was under $20, I want to say it was 16, maybe less maybe more it sold out but i believe it is back on fragrancebuy.ca now that's the only place i can currently find it i will link it down below but 16 bucks for 100 ml i'm not mad at it guys so for me this was definitely a good purchase if you've tried this comment down below i know it's kind of like slowly getting to the u.s to where you could buy it here alhambra is like kind of i would say pretty new to us and fragrance buy is really the only one that carries it currently that I know of. If you know of anywhere else to buy it, link that down below as well. If you like it, if you've compared it to Herod, any experience that you have with this fragrance or the House of Alhambra, let everyone know down below. As always, like this video if you liked it, be subscribed to my channel, hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop new videos, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!